Okay, right. Ooh, hey guys and gals, welcome back. Uh, I think it's the 21st now, so it's 21st of May. Uh, what that means is, uh, apparently, because we're in, I think it's called Sagittarius um, month uh, of where the moon, apparently there's going to be two um, spectacular moons. Uh, one this month, which is today. Uh, apparently, I don't know if it's doubled in size or something, or if it's a bit bigger. It looks quite big. We've got a full moon out tonight, and it's quite big. But I can't fucking see it because uh, the dark clouds are literally clouding the sky's judgment and all of that. Uh, yeah, somewhere over there. Anyways, um, somewhere over that side, anyway, over there somewhere. Um, Basically, tonight is supposed to be well, so you can. They've actually got the moon, which is actually blue tonight, because apparently they said the moon's supposed to be blue or something um, for the twenty-first of May, and it also means that because the moon's actually blue, um, it's also Mars is actually quite close to it. And they're supposed to be plain in sight or visible, so you can actually see them all and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I don't know if you guys will, but girls as well, I'll be able to see it or not. It's just there, where those clouds are. Should see it in the way, because it is fucking big tonight. Definitely fucking big. I've just had to delete some of my, um, here we go, here we go, we're going to see the moon, here we go, we're going to see the moon, oh yes, I'm sorry I couldn't get it a bit closer, I don't know, I might be able to get closer actually, I'm just using my phone tonight, here we go, the moon's quite big, but the clouds are in the fucking way, but uh, apparently it looks bigger tonight, I don't know, it looks more like because it looks closer, to our planet, um, because I think uh, Mars is supposed to be a lot closer as well. Um, in the way, actually, because I'm out in, uh, just near my back door of my garden, you can't really see much because it's too fucking dark. But you can make out, you can actually see the moon tonight. Apparently, it's supposed to be blue, but it don't look fucking blue to be honest. And, I'm, and it's out of fucking focus as well. Here we go, it's in focus now. Slightly, anyway. <sighs> Slightly out of focus. Because you've got all the fucking clouds in the way, so it kind of really. Um, but oh my god, it's actually huge tonight. It feels it's like. It's like one of the most closest things you can get. Um, I mean, if the clouds get a bit. To clear it tonight, I might take a photo and just put it on to onto here tonight. But as you can see, it's not that fucking good tonight with the clouds in the way and all that. Just zooming in and out and stuff so you guys and girls can see it. But I like taking the pictures of the moon, especially when you've got something spectacular and you can't fucking see it with the clouds in the way. It's a really disappointment, and I think, I think with the Mars though, um, and I'll try put you back in here so you can actually see. Him. There we go. I'm back. So anyway, so basically, because I think it's because the why you can actually see Mars as well, but you can't actually see Mars there because all the bloody clouds are in the way, and it's all very misty. Apparently, it's going to be, it's supposed to be like that for a few months or some, or a few weeks, where you'll be able to see uh, Mars and all that. I recorded some pictures the other day of it onto my uh, DSLR camera, my digital uh, camera, yeah, camera, uh, which is, uh, I think it's like, I think it's like 20 odd pixels, 20, what, uh, 22.1 megapixels, but yeah going to be really shitty tonight to record any of this tonight so it's just one of these bloody uh, things to be honest like sometimes I but with um, Mars I think they said that's the next closest one 
which is going to come round again. I think they said about 15 years. So the next one will be in 15 years. Um, I'll just make sure my brother is not coming in because he ends up annoying me and stuff. And I really, I don't know. I I, I like them both, both of my brothers, but uh, it's one of those type of things where they just uh, make you crazy and all of that uh, kind of stuff. They kind of, yeah, they kind of piss you off a little bit. Their brothers are like that though. They kind of piss you off. Um, yeah, but with this saga, uh, where we're in the month of Sagittarius, apparently, I think it's uh, Sagittarius this month. Uh, if if not, I'll write in the bloody description in the way on it. But apparently, uh, Mars is supposed to be more closer drawn to our planet because I think it's basically it was on where the sun before it was on the other side of the sun. So basically, Mars literally span round to our planet. So our planet looks more closer to Mars. If you guys and girls know what I mean, but uh, I'm not. I'm no scientist or um, like physicist or anything like that. But I find watching the stars at night time, looking at the stars and how they differ from time to time, where they move positions. Because I've noticed sometimes I've seen, say, um, Orion's Belt, which is like the three stars in a line. I've noticed them been on that side, then suddenly they're in the middle, then they're over there, and they're right over the back of my house. So it's kind of um, kind of different where the stars move because our planet's moving, but you can't we can't feel it because we're gravitized and stuff. With the gravity we're uh, uh, down, basically all the gravity is pushing us down. We can't feel it. It's it's really amazing and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, guys and girls, if you like this video, cheers for watching. And do put a thumbs up or a like down uh, if you like this video or if you didn't. Uh, do subscribe to the channel, do like the channel, favorite the channel and all that kind of stuff. And cheers all for watching.